Let's just take a moment of silence to appreciate the lighting. Hey, what's up? Hello, it is Namisha, and you're watching my video. Uh, I kind of felt so. Oh my god, that felt so hard, but I don't really care, so I'm gonna act cool anyways. What? Swag? Did that? That's not. No. Hey guys, it's Namisha, and today we are doing another funny video. As you know by reading the title of the video, obviously, this video is going to be Expectations versus Reality of Back to School. Now, this video is mainly featured on beauty channels, but I'm going to give it a little twist and make it so that it's also funny. Get back to school with so many expectations, like, oh my gosh, I am not going to procrastinate. I am going to be on right I'm going to be ready on time everything perfect best school year in the world it ain't going to happen like just just get that through your head trust me trust me at least trust the pillow I'm just kidding what no little things that you want will happen during the school year anyways guys let us get started starting off with our first one it is getting perfect grades Getting perfect grades will not happen. Nobody is perfect. Hannah Montana. I came in like a wrecking. Nobody's perfect, guys. You will not get perfect grades. You might get like stellar A's, but uh, trust me, there'll be at least one slip, one miss, like one thing that you just actually messed up on. You forgot to turn your assignment in, you forgot your book, you'll get a demerit, or maybe you just like forgot your work, your worksheet. There will always be something, don't get your hopes high up, I did so much, and then literally today only, I forgot my history notebook, and my history book. It happens. You just started year, your year, and summer just went by, sadly, and in summer you literally forget everything that went through your head during school and basically you have no knowledge in the beginning of the year. I mean you have some knowledge, but it's like it's like school you learn all this stuff, then summer comes, all the knowledge that in your head goes out the other way, and then you get more knowledge coming this way. Do, do, do. Summer out, new knowledge out. That's really how it works. So right now, don't be sad. I mean yeah, you wouldn't get bad grades. You will probably get one or two bad grades. Don't expect that you're gonna get perfect grades. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. So on to the next point. I'm getting amazing teachers. Mrs. Heisenhower? Oh, right. Um, class, right? Class? Okay, everybody. So your homework for today is have fun. Study Doctor Who and Glee. And PLL, go ahead and study their, you know, stories, backstories. Give me a oral report on that tomorrow. And let's just go have Reese for the rest of the class. Okay, that, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just go sit here and sleep, you know, while you guys go play. I love my teachers that I have right now. They are really good. But... You know the thing they say about expectations? Don't have them because yours are always gonna be much higher than what you ex like, ex like what you actually get, and then you're gonna feel sad. So I expected like a brilliant teachers. They're like the nicest people ever, and then we'll give you homework. Yeah, I know my brain's like crazy. Like, why would that ever happen? You're not gonna get teachers who don't give you homework. I mean, unless you do, then like your teacher is like, bae, bring her to my school. But honestly though, like I remember thinking during school, like, ah. Oh, Maybe the teacher won't give us that much homework. Maybe we can go outside today. Maybe this, maybe that, maybe this. It ain't gonna happen. But literally though, like I came in with so many expectations for school. Don't come in with expectations. All I can tell you, if you wanna succeed in life, do not have expectations because your, re because your reality will be obviously lower than them. Your expectation will be this high, reality this low. You gonna be happy when this happens? Probably not. 
Hello kids, I'm your teacher for today. My name is Mrs. Heisenhower, and today we're gonna talk about English because this is an English class, right? Right? Okay, good. Anyways, guys, let's start with taking our notes. I know it's the first day, but let's just keep on going. Anyways, <laughs> probably right now, right? Uh, just read right now. It takes about like five seconds. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You can finish. Oh, sorry, you get a few fails. Okay, let's do this worksheet for top player. You see this right here? Yeah, take it. Good. Okay, now finish it in five, three, two, one. Done. Oh, good. I forgot a number. Oop, four. Done. Are you done now? Oh, if you didn't finish, you're gonna fail. Sorry, guys. Anyways, guys, let's move on to our next word. Oh. On to the next one. Now, this one is kind of for me. Not many people have this one. This one is kind of like dumb and stupid. It's more like my type of expectation that I had during summer. Clean clothes. My clothes are like completely clean. I haven't even got them dirty a little bit. I know, right? It's amazing. I know, right? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Especially for me, the person who talks so much during lunch, there's always going to be some food that drops on my shirt, then darn it, it since it's a white shirt, it's gonna get messed up. Oh no, now what? There's a spot on it. And how do I get it out? I don't know, because it was spaghetti sauce. Has happened. Wasn't able to get it out. It's still a little bit like orangish on my shirt. You know, my mom like washed it so much and it's, just, it's still on it. And I hate it, because like we just bought those shirts. Just bought those shirts and they're already dirty. On the third day of school, what even like seriously though do not come in expecting you're gonna get perfect clothes by the end of the year no dirt nothing because already my shoes already starting to get muddy already my shirts already starting to get dirty already my like socks they are turning into gray and i got spaghetti sauce on my shirt yay it could be so much more easier honestly though because i would just expect to never get my clothes dirty Bam, they never be dirty. Oh. So guys, what's up? Is it good? Have to Oh, drop some water. Oh, oh, pistachios. Colored on my arm with marker and colored on my shirt with marker. Darn it. On to the next one. Not procrastinating. I like finished my assignment like two weeks before it was even due. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, this one is probably number one. This should be number one on my list because, oh my god, I procrastinate so much. I cannot tell you, my summer reading, my, I hope my teachers don't do this. Okay, my summer reading, okay, it was due when school started, obviously, well, actually a week after school started, which is so lucky for me. Guess when I finished it? Right the day before school started. I literally did nothing the whole summer. Like, and I'm not talking about like summer reading nothing. I'm talking about nothing physically. Like, I didn't go swimming. I didn't go anywhere except for San Antonio. That's it. Literally the entire summer. And I still didn't do my summer reading. It is crazy. I procrastinate literally so much. Oh my god. It is literally the most like one habit that I cannot get rid of. The, like the number one habit that I cannot get rid of. Procrastinating happens with me forever. Like, for example, right now. It is 3.56. We left school at 1 o'clock. And yeah, I'm still feeling, and I haven't done anything for my homework yet. Yay, gonna meet Then I came in this year thinking, oh wait, finally, I know that I should procrastinate. That'll totally change me. Am I right? Nope. This is what I thought. I thought, okay, since now I, now that I know that I procrastinate, maybe if I think that I won't procrastinate, it'll not happen, right? No, it'll still happen. So I think that I won't procrastinate, but yet I still do. My brain just thinks that if I think that I won't procrastinate, it won't happen. But that's not how life works. You actually have to work in life. What? I know, right? Crazy. You get the memo brain? Yeah, anyways, I keep on procrastinating. I will never stop. That is all my habits that I won't do. Like, even when I'm like, look, when I think that, oh my gosh, I like have this essay to do tomorrow, then I'll go to Google and look up how to not procrastinate. That is how bad it is. That's a slam. What? Even. Oh my gosh, this assignment is doing like right now. I have to do this in class like so fast. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. We have like two weeks to do this. Oh, why? On to our next one. 
perfect school year pictures. I keep on doing this for my all white things. These are like so true. Thank you, that's perfect. Perfect school year pictures. Imagine that word, just imagine it. I can't even say it without laughing. There is no way I'll have perfect school year pictures. But literally, my brain, this is how it works when I come into school. I think last year my pictures were sucky. But I know what I did wrong. I smiled too hard. And I did a ponytail. This year I'll open up my hair. And then that year I opened up my hair. It frizzed like crazy and on my phone and then I ordered a picture of it and my hair comes out looking like frizz man frizz mania or the frizz attack. When I left the house, my hair was perfect. And then when I get to school, oh frizz like it's like school's like my frizzinator. I don't know how it happens. I keep on thinking that, oh, well, last year I left my hair open. This time I'll tie it up. Oh, wait, my hair looks really bad when tied up. Oh, well, maybe I'll never look good. That is the truth there. You see, you will never look good for school pictures because there's always something bad. Someone will take your picture before you actually smile. Someone will mess up your lighting. The lighting will suck. Then the background just makes your face look weird. It'll never be perfect. You'll either smile too less or too much, and then you'll try smiling in the middle, but then you're going to end up looking like this. That'll be your smile and it'll just completely mess up. So do not expect your school pictures to be perfect because I'm just going to tell you this before you start hoping like, oh my God, what if I do this and that and this? <laughs> they would not work. Uh, school pictures were made so that you can look bad. Okay, they just they're supposed to give you like a reality check. Like you'd be thinking that, oh wait, I'm going to look good for my pictures. Uh, school picture comes in like, heh, I'm here, nope, you look horrible, like, no way, you ain't gonna look good. This is unscripted, so I have no idea what the heck I'm saying. I'm on a tired high, so I'm just like, going crazy and saying whatever I want to. Thank you very much, No, no, much. no, I wasn't ready, no, stop, please stop! I hope you guys liked that video. Honestly, I have so many expectations for school. But trust me, they will never happen. And I know, face it, school is coming. School is already started for me, but it's coming for most of you guys. So I know, I know, just deal with it. I know it's horrific, but it'll happen. So just, I'm just making this video to like let you know that you should not hope for these things. So yeah. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Saturday. And yeah, guys, that's it. And I will not forget my catchphrase this time. And then talk to you as future Namisha. And that's it, guys. So, bye-bye. As usual, my last video is over there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thumbs up this video because I make videos every Saturday. Bye, guys.